so I am here with my April favorites. Oh my gosh, April was the longest, craziest month ever, and I have so many things to share with you that I haven't been able to film other videos to share with you things, so holy moly, we have a lot to get through today. But I wanted to say today I have the day off because today is my birthday, woo-woo. I am 26 years old, oh my gosh, I am old, it is weird. Um, but I have so many things to share with you, a lot of beauty related things. Nothing like skincare or hair care related, actually. Um, a couple of random things will be thrown in at the end that I haven't done before, but I'm going to share them because they are my favorite. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first things I have to show you are some face products that I have been loving for the month of April. The first thing is the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. Um, I am in N130 and that's kind of the shade coloring um, through the little plastic there um, but I love that it comes with a pump and this foundation is just so natural on my skin and it blends so easily I love it I love it using with a blush I love using it with a beauty blender which I will go into next um, I just absolutely love this foundation it lasts all day for me it doesn't break me out it just is a good foundation for my skin I finally got a good foundation I've been using drugstore forever but I finally decided to invest my money into a nice higher end foundation so I'm super excited and I highly suggest this for just about any skin type. The next thing as I was saying the beauty blender I am obsessed with this thing um, if you saw my first impressions video with this um, I will link it down below if you didn't see it but I love this thing and I have continued to love this thing. Um, it's definitely really dirty today, but um, let's just ignore that. Um, but I love using this with um, this foundation. I have used it with all my concealer. I usually use it with my under eye concealer and I, I especially love it for my concealer, even over my foundation. Like it just blends so easily under the eye and um, it provides because it's kind of like wet I think it provides some moisture under there so it's not like my dry finger like rubbing it in um, and causing like friction or pulling wrinkles or anything like that so I really really love this thing for my concealer oh my gosh it is so amazing I cannot talk about this enough it just gives you the most flawless finish on your face please please just try this I promise you better than any blending sponge make sponge ever it is amazing okay the next thing I have been breaking out like crazy this past month I finally like cleared up my face a little bit it was really really bad um if you saw my beauty blender video you probably saw it's all over my face it was disgusting I know I literally like it started with like half this face and then it like crept over to this side and it was like it was really bad. I don't know if it was because I'm I was sick or it was because I knew a new product. I, I don't know. I don't know what it is that is breaking me that was breaking me out. But now my skin is clear again and thank goodness. Um, but while my skin was breaking out, I used this little beauty. This is the Sonia Kashuk um, Hidden Agenda Concealer Palette, and I purchased this at Target maybe a year ago and um, I used it for a while. I put it back because my skin was pretty good and I just kind of used other concealers, tried to use other ones up and I went back to this and I have fallen in love all over again. Um, it comes with two concealer shades, a light one and a darker medium toned one. It comes with a neutralizer on the top and then a little setting powder right there. Um, so literally I just kind of mix these two or whatever my skin tone is and um, just kind of pat it on to my problem area and then sometimes I use a setting powder sometimes I don't if I'm really dry that day I definitely don't use that because it kind of crepes up a little bit um, and dries me out but the moisture in these products are so amazing it's so creamy and like 
so opaque and just covers so well. I just, I just love it. It's so good and it lasts all day. Especially, actually, if I do use the setting powder, it lasts a lot longer than if I just use the creamy product. Um, but I really suggest this. Um, it's really, really amazing. Um, I don't use the neutralizer as much, which I think I probably should because if I have a really red blemish, that would probably neutralize it. But um, I definitely use these products a lot more down here. But I really love this and highly suggest it. Again, you can get this at Target. Okay, the next thing is a bronzer. And I, if you saw my Beauty Blender video, you probably saw at the beginning where I was being a goofball. Um, but this is the Tarte Bronzer in Hotel Her Eris, Eris. And it's a really, really deep golden bronze color. Um, it looks very, very dark and it looks very, very scary. But just the lightest amount on my skin looks so beautiful. Um, if you are a medium to dark um, toned skin, um, if you have that kind of skin, this is an amazing bronzer for you. This is beautiful. It's gorgeous. Um, I get really dark in the summer, so that's kind of why I got it, but I've been using it already and just sparingly on my cheeks, and it's just so pretty. It just gives like a really pretty golden bronze sheen. It's not shimmery at all, but it does have like a slight sh golden sheen to it, um, which is just gorgeous i love it and this thing lasts all day long and does not budge off my face so i really really love this bronzer and highly suggest it okay the next thing is a mac blush and um i went in and i kind of wanted a more neutral toned blush and the lady at the counter said this one was perfect for me and it looks so pretty and I agreed, so I bought it. Um, it is Max Tenderling, and I did a whole blog post about it, so I will link that down below as well. Um, it's just a really pretty, like, I don't even know if it will show up, because it's almost like skin toned with like a slight hint of like pinky mauve. So that's it right there, if you can see. Um, it's just very, it's really opaque, but like, it just looks very natural on your skin. Um, if you're dark toned, I don't know how much, if you have dark skin, I don't know how much this would show up on your face, but it is so pretty on my skin tone. So if you are my coloring, it's really, really pretty on. So highly suggest this product and it's beautiful. Love it. Okay, the next thing that I've had forever, and I've literally been addicted to it this month though, I've been reaching for it, it's it's every day. Every day I wear this product. Um, it is the Mary Lou Manizer, the, um, it's by The Balm, it's like a highlight, and it looks like this, and I'm sure a lot of you have seen it before from other people, but it's just like a champagne-y, powdery highlight, and it's not chalky, it's so smooth. Um, it kind of looks like that, and let's watch it right here, and I don't even know if it's going to show up, but it's just so pretty. I put it on the tops of my cheekbones, down my nose, um, and my cupid's bow. It's just the most perfect highlight ever. I don't know what I would do without it. It's just perfect. Like, it is so perfect. Um, I also have the Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana. I love that one as well, but this one just gives me a little bit more sheen and like when you turn your cheek, you just get that nice pretty, pretty glow. And oh, I just, oh, I love this highlighter. I suggest it to everyone. It's amazing. Okay, the next product that I have been loving is actually I loved two products, but one um, died on me and I use it kind of all up and it dried out, but this has been the replacement for that one, and it is gel eyeliner. I have been obsessed with gel or like cream eyeliners. I don't know why, but I think they're just so much easier to use than like even a pencil or like a felt tip brush or anything. Like this is my lifesaver. Like I love this stuff. Um, the other one that I used to use that died on me was the Wet n Wild one. It's super cheap 
and it lasted me a pretty long time. I'd say it lasted me about three months um, before it really dried up and I did use about, I want to say more than half of it before it dried out, which I mean, I didn't use the whole product before it dried up, but it was like three bucks, so I can't really complain about that. Um, but it's a really, really great product. Um, I decided to go a little more high end with this one, and this is Max um, Fluid Line Black Track. And as you can see, I've dented the heck out of it already. Um, I love this eyeliner. Um, it's just a really good. Whoa, sorry. It's just a really good black uh, gel eyeliner. Like it's just easy to use it's really creamy it's much creamier than um the wet and wild one i'm not sure i kind of feel like i like a little bit drier um but i know this one will dry out a little bit as i keep using it um so i'm really happy with it and i like it i like gel eyeliners guys this is great yay okay the next thing i actually wanted to mention in my last video um, but I totally forgot, but it has been, like, my favorite thing to do with my brows. Um, I'm not a big brow person. I don't put a lot of product in my brows. But I have been a little more lately, especially watching all these people on YouTube here do their brows amazingly. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's beautiful. I have really thick brows, a lot of brow as it is. Um, but... I do have a little bit of sparse areas, so I do like to fill them in just a little bit. And I've been using, um, this is the NYX eye Nude Matte, Nude Matte Eyeshadow in Underneath It All. And um, it's just like a light, ashy brown color. And it's perfect for filling in my brows just a little bit. It doesn't darken them so much to where I'm like, oh my gosh, they look so fake on my face and awful. It's just very natural. Um, so I did try before like a darker eyeshadow and I was like, that does not look good. That looks like I have a piece of black drawn on my brow, but this is like a really natural finish. So if you do have my hair coloring and really thick brows and you just want to fill them in just a little bit just to give it a little more definition, um, I highly suggest this product. So this is the NYX Nude Matte Shadow in Underneath It All. So really perfect for your brows. Been loving it. <sighs> I don't know how to explain this product because I love it so much. Um, this is the Too Faced La Creme Lipstick and this is in Nude Beach. And I got it from the Chic Week Beauty Sephora sale. I don't know. Sephora had 15% off for all like beauty insiders. So I got my hands on this and a couple other things. But this is just the most amazing lipstick ever. Um, it's so creamy and it is literally the perfect nude like it is perfect like that is like the perfect nude for any skin tone like I just I just look at it and I'm like you're just so pretty and I just don't even I don't even want to swatch it or like use it because it's just so pretty like look at this packaging it's just beautiful um, but the formula is amazing. They are pricey. I think they're like $21, but like I said, I had a 15% off and I was like, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to get a La Creme from Too Faced. So the Nude Beach is literally the perfect nude color. So if you are looking for a nude lipstick and you want to spend $21, this is the one you need to get. Okay, so this is the grand finale to my April favorites because this is by far my favorite out of all the products that i just mentioned this is my favorite product um these are the nyx butter glosses and they look like this i have four of them and i am obsessed with these i am so obsessed i am actually really sad because i went to my ulta and they did they ran out there's no more of them um so i'm like waiting for shipment to come so they can get more because i need every color it's so amazing these things are amazing okay so they are a gloss and they're pretty i wouldn't say they're super opaque but they're pretty opaque they're definitely like a buildable color that you can um, build on your lips and the feeling of them is just like not sticky it's really like a slippery 
buttery, probably why they call it a butter gloss, um, buttery feeling on your lips. And I am just so obsessed with that feeling. Like I don't really like like really sticky glosses. My hair gets in there. I like that buttery, smooth feeling, like slippery feeling on my lips. That's probably really weird, but I love that feeling and this is what they get the these give me. So I I just can't talk highly enough about these. Okay, so this one's in Eclair and this one's kind of like your basic pinky color. I don't know if you could see right there. Just like your basic pinky color. Um, I really love it. It's like your everyday color. This one is probably the one I would suggest to get first um, just because it's kind of your basic pink color. Um, I use this one all the time. This is probably my most used one. Um, the next one I have is tiramisu. Tiramisu. Oh, and they're all desserts and they have like a like a frosting cupcake vanilla scent, which is amazing. But it doesn't last long, so if scents like bug you or anything, it's not like a lasting scent on your mouth that you wanna like eat off. It like smells like it for a second and then it kind of fades and just because becomes the most beautiful buttery gloss ever. Okay, moving on. So this is tiramisu. It's kind of like your brownie nude. So see, that's pretty, that's pretty opaque. Um, Definitely buildable, but pretty opaque on your lips. So that one was tiramisu. Then I have creme brulee. It looks like that. And this one's kind of like your pinky nude. So if you love pinky nude glosses, that one is for you. So that's creme brulee. And then I have Maple Blondie, which is kind of like a corally pinky color. I think this one's a lot of fun. So that one on the bottom is Maple Blondie. So that's Tiramisu, Creme Brulee, and Maple Blondie. Um, oh, and then over here is e Eclair. So. Um, I really, really suggest these. Definitely look out for these at your Ulta or wherever you get NYX products. I'm obsessed. They're amazing. Okay, the next thing that I have to mention because it is my birthday and my hubby got me the best gift ever. It is the Sephora fa Fragrance Sampler. Can I talk today? Seriously? Mm, awful. Um, but it is the sampler that has, I guess it has like 11, um, sample scents and then what you do is you go through and you pick out your favorite scent and then you go in and you get there's like a certificate in here and then you go into sephora and you get to pick a full-sized one and how amazing is that i think it's the cutest idea ever um i think i remember seeing these around the holidays but um so he got me that and i'm super excited because actually i think i want I mean, I'm already deciding. I don't know which one I'm gonna get yet, but I'm pretty sure I wanna get the Mark, da Mark Jacobs Daisy Oh So Fresh one. I think it's like right there. So, comes with a bunch. Um, comes with 11, so I'm really excited. It's so sweet and I love my birthday gift, so very exciting. And then the last thing is a TV show. That is so random, but I've been obsessed with it, and it just had their season like finale or whatever until next year, and it is Suburgatory. Oh my gosh, it is the best show. So if you have like DVR or like on demand or anything, go check out Suburgatory. It is the best show ever. It's freaking hilarious and totally like mean girls type thing in a TV show. So go check out that show if you have not. Um, that's it for now. Holy moly, that was the longest video ever. I'm gonna go enjoy my birthday. We're going to sushi tonight. I'm so excited. Um, and I hope you guys are having a great day as well as me. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.